What's up, guys? Hey, guys. Welcome back to the journey. <laughs> Today we are in Baltimore City, Maryland, hey. at Ikna's 50th year anniversary. Hey, they got bazaar, they got food, they got great speakers. Oh, I'm glad you're nice to meet you. 
In case you were wondering, what is there to do for kids over here? Well, let me show you. So after great lectures and some bizarre shopping, you develop an appetite and you want to go ahead and get some food. I'm hungry. So, so to welcome everyone, hopefully everyone got some cookies, everyone feeling good. First of all, we have Sheikh Mikail, who is from the East Coast. Sheikh Mikail, who mashallah is an instructor at Qalum. Uh, involved with a number of programs, you can listen to him on the podcast, take a class with him online on Connect, come study with him at the seminary, and a ton of other things. Do Hajj with him, so many things. We have Ustaz Abdurrahman Murphy, who is a Chicago native, but also with us in Dallas. And the big thing that he's involved with right now is, alhamdulillah, he runs a community space here in Dallas called Roots, uh, which is very cool, mashallah, and really beneficial to a lot of people in the community. We have Mufti Hussein Kamani, no relation to the Kamani booth at all that you'll see down there. <laughs> no, alhamdulillah. <laughs> Mufti Kamani is the founder of the Kamani Thaw Company. Mashallah. All walks of life and talk about, sorry, I almost hit you in the face like three times. Talk about backbiting and where it comes from and this and this. That's all cool. But the scholars of Tezki are like, look, if you are backbiting, you need to change yourself and start complimenting and appreciating people and that's what will solve the problem of Liba in our community. And it's the same way. Is there racism in our community, yes or no? Absolutely. Do we sometimes, are we acting complicit in this racism? Absolutely. And there are ways and experiences that we can provide and we can make sure that in individually we take the ownership and the reins of those situations to help solve that problem. Sexism. Right? Maybe Mufti Kamani can't solve all of sexism in the world, all of misogyny and patriarchy in the world, but you know what he can do? He can sit here with a microphone in a bazaar of hundreds of Muslims and talk about how amazing it is to have a daughter and how essential it is to provide opportunities for them. That's what we're talking about. The problem that many of our relationships that I've been dealing with in many people's relationships is building presence with one another. And I spoke about this before, but it's been something heavy on my heart that we need to learn how to be present with one another. The loved ones, your friends, whoever they are, we have this problem that we always want to be somewhere else. And that goes back to what I'm saying about the people in the East Coast want to be in Dallas, the people in Dallas want to be in Cali, and the people in Cali, I don't know where else, but I'm just giving some examples. <laughs> but anyways, so the, the point being is that we have this, this, this desire to always be somewhere else. And the best gift that you can give the people around you is your presence. And it's actually the best gift you can give back to Allah is presence. But here's the problem. And this is where I think it boils down to. We're infinite souls, as I said before. We're not restricted by time. Time is a creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So here I'm, I'm with a, two infinite souls together. And, and what, what makes me not be present with Him? I, I want to go somewhere else. I want to be somewhere else. I want to be five minutes ahead. I want to go five minutes back and not be present in this moment. So one gift that we can give people, and we call it a present too, subhanAllah, one gift that we, we should learn how to give, and it's the prophetic gift. It's a, it's a gift that the Prophet Sallallahu gave anyone he sat with. It's just to be present with people. Just be present. Wallahi, you will win people's hearts. You will win communities. You will win your wife. You'll win anyone you interact with if you just learn one thing. Just be present with the person you're with. And that's the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Open my heart! <laughs> this is Sarah, this is my girl. She's here from Texas, from Kalam Institute. If you don't know her, get to know her. This is my John, my heart. 
I'm complete now. <laughs> ابدا لا لن نحيد ابدا لا لن نحيد ابدا لا لن نحيد عن خطى الايمان دربنا درب قويم دربنا درب قويم بالهدى القراني ابدا لا لن نحيد ابدا لا لن نحيد You guys want to tell the world what Haq Halal is all about? We have a halal food finder at the base here in the DC Maryland Virginia area. Uh, we currently have about 50 halal grocery stores in the app and we're looking to add you know, restaurants really soon. We have a loyalty program which allows you, inshallah, for having all the halal grocery stores, inshallah, all the halal restaurants, to earn a reducible reward. Right? We're in the DMV area, DMV and Baltimore area, and we're looking to expand up and down the East Coast, inshallah, and, you know, especially the West Coast. So download our app and you'll find in details we specify, you know, if the meats are hand cut, if they're machine cut, you know, if they're they supply that means we'll have a supplier and we'll have things like that. So inshallah we we'll appreciate if y'all download the app and check it out. Give us likes. Absolutely. Subscribe, subscribe to the man right here. Stage councilman was here, Jones. And my mother, she was very big on service, giving back to the community. And I don't get into that, you know, if people are Christian or they have other ways of life. Like, I don't care about that stuff. That's Allah's business. It's not up for us. You know, it's not for me to make somebody Muslim. What I want people to say is that I helped them because I was a human being. And then they say, oh wow, and you're Muslim. Oh wow, oh, okay. So by the time they find out that I'm Muslim, their hearts are already inclined to what we're doing because I'm there paying for their children's funerals. So I'm there, uh, you know, when their children are shot in the hospital. I'm there at every aspect. So anything good that you see in me is my mother. Anything bad, I picked it up along the way. It's me. Inshallah, make dua. How are you? Where are you from? I'm from Maryland. Oh, really? Yeah. We got a uh, mustard donation going on for a mustard in Maryland, located in Annapolis. Every dollar counts. Would you like to donate? Absolutely, and I'll do something better for you. Not only will I donate, but I'm actually going to put this. See, I'm recording right now. What's up, guys? And I'm going to put this on my page. Okay. Every dollar counts. All we need is the one dollar donation. Even if you have 50 cents, 25 cents, whatever you have. You take it all. Take it all. My man, we got you. <laughs> Even a dollar counts, everybody. There you go. There you go.